Okay, first step is to open an Antminer S7 is to turn it on its back. These will, these um, boards will slide out this way. So turn it on its back. Unscrew these four screws. Put it on the side. Okay, after these screws are taken off and the fan is on its side, take these four off. I use a screwdriver sometimes, but for the sake of the video, I use a drill. I like using a magnet to hold them all so they don't go flying everywhere. Take this plate off. And I got the boards. Now all I gotta do is loosen these like so. I need to take the board off. Now I like to um, use a duster. I do this outside and dust it off. I'm not gonna do it in here because the dust is gonna have a lot of But this video is for sealing, for sealing this part right here. This part seems to be the fastest one to go to rust. All right, as you can see, these boards aren't so rusted. There. So I'm going to start off with these. Alright, first you start off by... Take the dust off. Now some solution. Contact cleaner for the rusty parts. Get it in there. You can see it's a lot cleaner. Got most of the oxidization. Now we're gonna use some RTB silicone to seal in the deal so it doesn't oxidize or anything and this one's safe for electronics I'll put a link to it in the description And this one dries off real quickly, so you gotta work with it fast. Now I got all the contacts coated. Just wait around 30 minutes to an hour. Put it back on. Make sure you have a fan. And, uh, yeah. Come back to that one in half an hour. All right, this is the second one. Well, actually, I've done two others, but this is the second one in the video.
the boards are coated. Um, seems to me that this white plastic brush was better than the brown brush. I don't know what the brown brush was made out of, but they're all coated and now drying. Now all you gotta do is slide them into their slots. All the way to the back. After the drag for the minutes. Underclocked. It's kind of hot outside, so I'm underclocking them. 